Welcome to another episode of Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. I'm your host, Dave Palumbo, and I'm here to bring you all the latest news in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. It's Monday, June 22nd, 2015, and let's get to it. The bodybuilding world took over the great state of Texas this past weekend with the Dallas Europa Super Show taking place. In men's bodybuilding, Fred Smoltz continued his strong run in 2015 by locking up the victory and Olympia qualification in the Open class. The 212 division saw a South Korean native, Hyung Won Kang, take everyone by surprise and narrowly edge out the field. A superbly conditioned Michael Ferguson bested a deep lineup of men's physique competitors and locked up his Olympia qualification. A much improved Andrea Calhoun took home top honors in figure and in women's physique, Yasha, just one name necessary, dialed up her best look ever to capture her first pro victory. For a full wrap of this weekend's festivities, be sure to listen to tonight's episode of Heavy Muscle Radio exclusively at rxmuscle.com. We had a little bit of good old fashioned southern home cooking down in New Orleans over the weekend as some of the top bikini and physique athletes in the business took the stage to do battle in the IFBB Greater Gulf States Pro. In the men's physique division, it was a razor sharp Ryan Hinton who leveled the competition and claimed his first pro victory. In women's physique, we saw a spectacular Daniel Reardon fly in and crush the competition, edging out second and third place finishers Venus Nguyen and Jill Dearman. And in a hotly contested bikini battle, Angela Marquez narrowly squeezed past species nutrition athlete Sarah LeBlanc to lock up her fourth pro victory and an Olympia qualification. With less than two weeks to go before he steps on stage at the Chicago Pro, it looks like Brad Davis is ready for war. Davis released some posing footage over the weekend where we saw him showing off some good conditioning, paired with an absurd amount of muscle from the back. Davis finished seventh at last year's contest and appears to have made some improvements over the offseason. But with so much high quality talent heading into the Windy City, he might find he has more than his work cut out for him. Brad Davis won't be the only one looking to make a splash in Chicago. The protein poppy himself, Kevin Jordan, will also be hitting the stage for the first time since earning his IFBB Pro card at the 2013 NPC Nationals. Jordan released a few candid photos over the weekend showing off what clearly appears to be the best conditioning that we've seen from him to date. From the back, Jordan looks to have added some legitimate new muscle and should find himself right in the mix of things if he can nail his conditioning. Once upon a time, Jordan made a name for himself as the junior national champion right there in Chicago. And with another strong performance, he could officially introduce himself to the professional ranks as a future force to be reckoned with. A few weeks removed from his big win at the New York Pro, 212 powerhouse Guy Cisternino is already back to smashing the weights on his way to making a return trip to the Olympia stage. Cisternino was spotted doing what he does best, lifting heavy ass weights recently as he gears up to make another strong push down the back stretch of the 2015 contest season. Over the years, Sister Nino has proven time and time again that he flat out refuses to be outworked by anyone. And come Olympia time, it shouldn't surprise anyone one bit to see a bigger, sharper version of Guy Sister Nino battling it out against the best in the world. And finally, did George Farah, the one true guru, the maker of champions, make a mathematical mistake on his tip of the week? In my mathematic classes, 500 calories times 7 days equals 3,500 calories, or 1 pound of fat. Or does it? And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. Check out ironmaglabs.com today. I'm your host, Dave Palumbo, reminding you to always be true to your passions. And make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. <laughs>